Hello lovely butterfly, welcome to this channel on Monday, week 183. Hello sweet butterfly, welcome back to my channel, it's France. I took out my two favorite colors being turquoise and rust. I took them in the Lindy Stem Gang sprays and in the new colors too because those are water soluble and today I feel like playing with water. I'm not spraying the colors on, I'm uh, applying them with a paintbrush then blending them. I really want to go for a very dreamy effect so I'm using quite some water. Um, I'm making sure that I'm not colorizing my entire journal at once by having the colors seep in, in the binding. Um, I'm not drying the colors in between, I'm just going ahead and then having something, yeah, like I said, a dreamy effect. That's just the first layer or so. I don't care if it's intense or not or if the color is exactly where I want to have it. Now I can start intensifying and to do so I'm applying the color directly using my paintbrush. I did spray a little bit of water on the spread but not a lot and I'm actually happy to have those brush strokes show up so I'm not trying to blend it out completely this time. I do want to have some contrast going on and I do want to see those brush strokes on the paper and in the color. Once it's completely dry, I'm going in with the Neo color, and this time I can intensify some areas even more by scribbling on some of the color. And then I'm using some water, just going in with my finger to blend it and to make it work with what I already have in the background. Lately I've been all about pushing stuff in the background using uh, white, so here comes the gesso. <laughs> um, unlike the previous um, spreads that I've done with this, I'm not going to use a brayer or a paintbrush. I'm using my finger and to make it easier, I just mix a little bit of water into the gesso, which will allow me to apply it with more ease. I'm not rubbing too hard. I don't want the colors underneath to be completely smudged because all of those colors are water reactive. So I'm working a very light way, just again, trying to go for that dreamy something.
I just can get myself to get rid of all that diluted gesso. So I thought, well, I might as well use it. So I'm using my palette knife to add some touches here and there um, to accentuate that white just here and there on the spread. This is something that I showed in my video, uh, five ways to use a piece of kitchen roll. I'm using my piece of kitchen roll here as a mask underneath my honeycomb stencil. This is the large version of the stencil. And then I'm going in with uh, the hard modeling paste from Golden, just applying it with a palette knife. And the reason that I'm using my stencil uh, with the piece of kitchen roll underneath is that this way I'll get a very irregular edge to where I have my modeling paste. And of course I had to leave it to dry completely before I could do the same thing on the other side. This is as far as I knew what to do with the spread. So as I didn't know what to do next, I took out three words from my perfect word stamp set and I just started to stamp them randomly using coffee archival ink. And this is something that I like to do when I don't know what to do next because sometimes I know where I want to take the spread and sometimes the spread has to tell me. And in order for the spread to have um, the opportunity to tell me, well, I have to let in all the feels because we feel before we think. Uh, and that's a thing. I'm not saying that. That's, um, that is a thing. Uh, so I need to let in all the feels so that I know where I want to take it or where I should be taking it. And apparently I needed to take it in a pretty dramatic place um, because of all the possibilities that I had to colorize that modeling paste that I have in the middle. This is um, the technique that I chose. This is a pretty dramatic one. So I'm applying three colors from the Lindy Stam Gang, being the Red Hot Poker Orange, Dark Chocolate Truffle, and Raven Rendezvous Black. Blending them together and mixing them together with some water, just to intensify that modeling paste that I have. And this will leave me with a pretty dramatic uh, look in the end, because, well, Apparently, that is what needed to come out. Some drama today. <laughs> Thank you. 
At some point I got tired of trying it, so I just left it aside to try by itself. And meanwhile, I put down a layer for my a layer a day challenge. And that is why you can still see my sticker sheet and the uh, canvas resist on the right. Uh, but I realized that the stickers pretty well matched my spread, so I might as well use them on my spread. But first I applied some splatters using the Time Teal Travel, um, again in the Stem Gang, and then the Dark Chocolate Truffle. But I didn't leave them to dry completely. Um, I lift them up halfway so that I'm left with those very soft splatters. Uh, I used the Raven Rendezvous Black and the Red Hot Poker Orange to colorize my cambric to give it like this um, grungy, rusty effect. But I didn't really add a lot of water so that the colors wouldn't completely blend and so that the white of the cambric would still be visible, um, which I think matches better with the background that I have here. Yeah, that really, really works well with the spread. So I decided to use one of those words as well from that sticker sheet. Uh, which says stuck. I just stuck it on the piece of... Yes, I'm dancing. What, you, what you're seeing me do here is actually dancing. I was listening. I like to listen to Sia at the moment. And yeah, well, you cannot listen to Sia and not dance, right? So I had to move a little. I'm adding a little bit of black distressing on the edge of my stickers to take away that white. And... I wanted to see how, where I could place it to still have that background work as good as it could. And then I'm also adding some black thread underneath. I really wanted to use that rusted paper clip that was laying on my table, um, which I soaked in my rusting uh, mixture, but it wasn't working with the spread, so I left it aside. Instead, I decided to use this leftover of Canvas Resist, um, which is the leftover from my A Layer A Day challenge. Um, layer that I had just applied and because I wanted to have some more white I used the snowflake white fresco finish and my warp grid stencil this is a small version of it and this spongy thing is like it's actually a kid's tool I think but it works so well to apply uh, the paint in a very thin layer and I'm just adding some more white accents here and there to bring everything together Because of the spread, I decided to make a big word sticker sheet. So this will be available in my web shop. And I'm cutting it up so that I can apply it in a sentence, but still broken up so that it's not just one big sticker, which I could do too, but I preferred it to have it like in these three pieces. And I had such a hard time to put it down straight. And that's why you can see my big head. So I had to cheat. I used an acrylic block to help me to get it down straight. And once it was down, I went back in with the same new colors that I used at the very beginning, um, which is the blood orange that looks very rusty and then the turquoise one, just mixing it up with some water and then applying it very lightly with a paintbrush. And I'm not going for a completely colorized look, just more patches of color. Um, and yes, those stickers can take it. They they won't move because you apply some water on them. And then I'm using the smallest of my number stamps to add um, some extra touches to those words, just to grunge them up. And just because I can, I'm adding some more of those numbers on the edge of my spread. You know how much I love my numbers. So yeah, all of a sudden it was, it was pretty cold in the studio. That's why I put on my um, big fluffy sweater thingy. And I wanted my words to be a little bit more grungy so that they would work better with the spread. So I used a dark brown and a black neo color, again, mixed with water, um, just to add some dark shade around um, my sticker. And on the sticker as well, at the very bottom of the sticker, just to, yeah, really grunge it up and make it work with the rest of the spread. I actually wanted to add some sewing around my words, but that was not an option. That wouldn't have worked. Um, I couldn't have gotten that 
paper to go through my sewing machine. So I decided to do it with my Unipen pen. And then after adding my date stamp um, at the bottom right, I decided it needed some black splatters as well to really bring out all that grunginess. And um, I used my black Posca pen, which I really love to um, make those kind of splatters. And even if my splatters didn't really go the way I wanted them, I like how my spread turned out. Um, it's really matching the feels of the moment. Thank you so much for joining me again today. I hope you liked today's video. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. Click on the little bell to receive notifications of new videos. A big shout out to my patrons who made this uh, video possible. Thank you. Thank you to my patrons. Don't forget to put down a layer a day. Butterfly kisses.